Joining me now is Arkansas Senator Tom Cotton. Senator Cotton, good to have you on tonight. Now, the Democrats were routed, as I said, after Obamacare in 2010. But aren't these new spending bills actually worse than Obamacare? Yeah, Laura, this is the definition of insanity, with almost every Democrat in Congress doubling down today, saying they need to go even bigger and bolder and faster to pass their reckless tax and spending bills. But I can tell you that's not what the body language said. Those Democrats in Congress look like the voters walked over their grave last night because the voters in New Jersey and in Virginia, and for that matter, in places like San Antonio and Long Island and Minneapolis and Seattle, all repudiated the Democrats' radical agenda. They know that this multi-trillion dollar spending bill is just going to make the prices that they pay at the gas pump or the grocery store go up, that it's riddled with billions of dollars of ridiculous, ridiculous equity programs that are counting and dividing by race, things like tree equity, whatever that means and that it's going to encourage local school districts to continue to push critical race theory. Now down to pre-K, if the federal government gets its hands on pre-kindergarten education. That's why the Democrats got repudiated last night, but they have no answer in Congress today. Now, Joe Biden thinks, again, that, that this massive spending uh, bill is just a silver bullet for everything that our country faces. Watch. People are upset and uncertain about a lot of things, from COVID to school to jobs to a whole range of things and the cost of the, the a gallon of gasoline. And so if I'm able to pass sign of the law, my Build Back Better initiative, I'm in a position where you're going to see a lot of those things ameliorated quickly and swiftly. Senator, how will his bill do anything to change, for instance, the price of gasoline, which is breaking a lot of budgets right now. Just that issue. Yeah, Laura, not only will it do nothing to address those challenges, it'll make many of them worse. Every American with an ounce of common sense knows if the federal government continues to shower trillions of dollars on this economy, it's going to drive inflation even higher. They know that this bill has nothing to do with coronavirus. The problems in our schools are created by Democratic governors and school boards who shut our schools down and then keep our kids in masks. And when they do have them in school, try to teach them to hate America and call their parents domestic terrorists if they complain about any of it. That's what's wrong with our schools. It has nothing to do with the bill that the Democrats are trying to pass right Se now. Senator Cotton, your colleagues who claim to be moderates, we heard from some of them today. Uh, Warner in Virginia, uh, Tester showed up yesterday, hadn't seen him in months. Uh, but Joe Manchin, Kristen, Kristen Cinema, I mean, don't they need to start listening to their constituents? And are their constituents clamoring for a climate core and 75,000 more IRS agents and all the other things that go along with it? No, no, Laura, but that's why there really aren't any moderate Democrats left in the Congress. There are only vulnerable Democrats. And some of those you mentioned are up for re-election next year. There's others in states like Arizona and Nevada and Georgia and New Hampshire who I can't imagine are very eager to vote on this mishmash of Democratic priorities. But look at the House of Representatives. You've got Democratic congressmen from Virginia and New Jersey who, if they were on the ballot last night, would have lost their seats. So they why, look at Nancy why? Pelosi and they see them. Sorry, go ahead. Go ahead, Laura. Well, I was just going to say why. No, they well, they see what Nancy mix. Pelosi said in the years after Obamacare. Nancy Pelosi said after the 2010 election, when Republicans had a historic victory, that it was worth losing the House to pass Obamacare. Well, that's the way she feels now. And she's talking about those Democrats in vulnerable districts in New Jersey and uh, Virginia and elsewhere around the country. They should think long and hard about whether they want to walk the plank for Nancy Pelosi to have the capstone of her career, a bill that is going to solve none of America's problems. Yeah, West Virginia voters, Arizona voters, Virginia voters, Montana voters, they all have to make their voices heard in phone calls to these senators. It's got, got to stop the madness. Senator Cotton, great to see you.